guys, so we got a big one today. This is going to be my last video of 2014 and also the last video of Holiday Me, so it's kind of a bittersweet day. I'm excited for a new year, but I really, really enjoyed Holiday Me. And first and foremost, just thank you to everybody who watched and supported and gave me all the nice feedback and comments. It really meant a lot to me and I had a really good December. Today I'm going to be sharing my best of beauty with you, if you will. If you're watching this and wondering to yourself, where the heck is the nail polish? That is because I had so much nail polish, I had to do a whole separate video on it, so I will link that down below. I uploaded it yesterday, it's already up. It is my top 20 nail polish picks of 2014, and I had so much fun doing it, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get started because I have so much crap to cover, and I usually start with nail polish. But this year, I'm going to start with brushes, even though it's kind of boring, but just, just bear with me. Okay, so my first brush favorite is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. I've been watching YouTube for years and I've never cared about Sigma until I started watching Jaclyn Hill, which she's my favorite YouTuber of 2014. But anyway, she convinced me to order Sigma brushes and this was her number one like recommendation is the F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush for your foundation and that's exactly what I use it for. It is amazing. I use it each and every day with my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint and it just really buffs it in. Makes it look nice and natural, not streaky, picks up enough product but lays down enough product. It is amazing. I absolutely love this thing and uh, yeah, I can't say more good things about it. And to go along with it, I also got the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush around the same time. I love the shape of this brush. I don't know what it is, but this is perfect for blending out under eye concealer and that's exactly what I do with it. And I just love the taperedness of this brush. And I also have this as a favorite. This is the baby version of it. This is the Sigma Precision Tapered P86. So this is like the mommy and the baby and they're cute. And I use this for a cream highlighter on my cheeks or even under eye concealer, just kind of random miscellaneous things. Again, I just love the shape of this brush so much and I need and love both of these. I was also looking for a brush to put on my more like powdery, really intense highlighter, something fluffy that I could bl blend it out with. This is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush, and this works great for applying um, highlighter on my cheekbones, but it's also great for setting my under eye concealer with powder if I wanna do that, so that was an extra bonus with this one. And then last but not least, I have an eye brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. I love this for just popping color into my crease, blending anything out. It's kind of just a multi-purpose brush for me. I'm absolutely in love with it, and uh, yeah. Can't say enough good things about it. I just love the big fluffy shape of it. So I'm a Sigma affiliate, so if you buy through my link, then it helps me out a little bit. So thank you if you do. I will have all of those links down below. It will go directly to my page, and then I'll also have a discount code for you down below as well. Now moving on to base favorites. Um, to be honest, I don't have a whole lot because my routine hasn't really changed since last year and you can find all of those in my 2013 favorites. But I do have a couple things. The first thing is the Benefit Professional Primer. Oh my god, this stuff is amazing. I don't even have that big of like a, like a pore problem because that's what this is supposed to do, fill in your pores. This is just so silky and nice and soft and moisturizing under your foundation and really helps your foundation stay in place all day. A lot of people aren't into primers, but I am because I really do think that they help with my foundation at least. But there's something about this one that just makes your skin look better even before you put on foundation. It just evens things out, makes everything flat as it says it does, and uh, it's just the best. It is pricey, I think it's like 28 or 30 bucks, but this is my second bottle of it. I ran out last month, immediately bought another one because I can't live without it now because I'm so in love. So yeah, definitely one of my favorites from 2014. And then the only other thing that's different this year is I've switched over to the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for my under eye concealer. This is the shade Fair. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I put it you know, under my eyes, blended in with that Sigma F86 brush, and I just love the effect it gives. It brightens it, but not too much. And yeah, I like this because it's kind of creamy enough to be an under eye concealer. Sometimes I will use this on spots, but I usually just use my NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer for that because it stays in place all day. And this is just a little more creamier, a little more nicer for underneath my eyes, and I'm obsessed. I'm running low on it, but I already have a backup waiting for me in my makeup drawer, and uh, yeah, totally love this. Can't live without it now. Next is a life changer. This is the Benefit Watts Up. Uh, cream highlighter. I love this. I discovered this through the Sephora birthday gift last year And I don't know if I mentioned it last year's favorites But I think it was like too close to the end of the year for me to mention it But I have consistently used this all year long. I absolutely love it If I ever run out, I will absolutely buy another one. I'm wearing it today It's just a really nice 
subtle glisten if you don't want to have too much highlighter but you do want a little bit of glow this is perfect it's cream i love cream highlighters so much it comes with this like little thing on the other end i don't ever use that i use the um p86 precision brush to put this on uh obsessed in love i made a lot of brow discoveries this year let's start off with the anastasia brow wiz i have the color taupe on one side you have this really nice thin pencil. It's the thinnest eyebrow pencil I've ever worked with. I hate doing my eyebrows. I've never been very good at doing my eyebrows. This just makes it easy. On one side it has the spoolie so you can brush it out. Then this side has the color, the really thin pencil to make it easy to just do it in little brush strokes. And then you just blend it out again with this and I am obsessed. I love the color match. And this is like almost out. I'm gonna have to buy another one. They're kind of expensive. They're 21 bucks but I mean, they're great, so I will definitely repurchase this the second it runs out. And then to set on top of that, to set my brows in place because I have really unruly brows, I loved the Milani Clear Brow Gel this year. I usually picked up the Maybelline Clear Mascara. That was just a little bit goopy for me. It didn't dry fast enough, and it wasn't an actual brow gel, so I can't be too pissy about it. This stuff is amazing. I've never actually tried the Anastasia Brow Gel, so I don't know if it's, you know, if that one's much better than this one, but this is cheap from the drugstore, and it gets the job done, so... Why not? And this was one of the best discoveries of 2014. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is amazing. I'm very lazy when it comes to my brows. As I said, I don't like doing them. But this is fun and amazing. It's this little tinted brow gel, so it tints your brows and sets them in place all in one. And it has this little brush, so it's easy to maneuver and shape it the way you want it. And this stuff says it has fibers in it, which make your brows look a little more full, and it's totally true they do. I totally love this stuff. I'm kind of running low. I will absolutely buy it again. I think it's like 22 bucks, which is kind of a lot, but worth it. And this is the shade Light Medium. Next I have some eyeshadows and I have one eyeshadow base so I thought I'd share that first. This is the Maybelline 24 hour tattoo, whatever they're called, in inked in pink. This is amazing. It took me forever to find it when it first came out but I finally found it and I use it all the time. I like to wear blush colors on my eyes, especially my Naked 3 palette which spoiler, that's coming up. But this is the perfect base for that. It's just such a pretty like light pink but kind of neutral ish color so it's not like you're wearing pink eyeshadow on your eyes so it's perfect underneath the naked palette colors or it's just really pretty on its own i absolutely love it i wear it all the time and it's definitely a fave this year this one i kind of forgot about the last half of the year but the first half of the year i used this so much this is the nyx baked eyeshadow in peach ice i love the name for this because it's such a nice it just has like this it's just very different than any other like neutral champagne -y cream eyeshadow that I have because it has that peach tint to it. It's very subtle, it's really pretty. All the NYX baked um, products are very subtle but buildable, which I like about that. And oh, I just love the just the peach hint that it has. I love it. So yeah. Next, I have this MAC Electric Cool eyeshadow in Super Watt, which I talked about this a lot in the fall. It's this really weirdly textured eyeshadow, which you can tell like when you stick your finger and it kind of dips down. Looks like it's a cream, but it's a powder. It's very strange. I use my finger and a brush when I apply this, but I just think the color is so cool. Let me swatch it for you. It's just this really nice bronze color that's not too dark for me because I like to wear bronzy colors, but I can't go too dark because I'm very fair and I have freckles, but this I just loved throughout um, the fall and I think it would be a nice summer color as well. So totally loved that I want to try more of these eyeshadows, but I don't need any more makeup, but um, yeah loved now This eyeshadow was more of a recent purchase, but I had to throw it in here because it's life-changing This is the Mac pro Longwear eyeshadow in always sunny. It is amazing I'd never had a pro Longwear eyeshadow before just their bronzer, which I do love and I love this mainly for the color for my skin tone I'm very fair. So I love colors like this to have it to buff in my crease when I'm trying to do a more dramatic eye look or even like today when I didn't do anything and I just wanted a little bit of definition in the crease. I love colors like this. But if I am doing something more dramatic, it makes it super easy to blend out and make everything look kind of a little more pulled together. And just, if you're pale like me, this color is going to be amazing for you. Trust. 2014 shall be known as the year that I discovered Makeup Geek and I have a couple eyeshadows to share from my little palette here. The first one is Peach Smoothie and I like this for the same reason I like that always sunny eyeshadow. It's the perfect in-between blending color. If I start with a color like this, it just makes things easier to blend out and it's just, it never fails me. Ever since Jaclyn Hill taught me this technique, I start with this in my crease, then build from there and it just makes things look more pulled together, more blended, not so harsh, and I love it. 
The other one I love is Purely Naked, which this is a little too dark for me to be considered naked for me, but what I love about this is it's mostly a matte brown, but there's just a little hint of shimmer in it, so it's really pretty if I'm not in the mood to do a dramatic eye look, to just sweep all over my lids if I want a little bit of definition, and it just kind of sparkles and it looks really nice, and I love this color. So definitely check out Makeup Geek Eyeshadows if you haven't already, because they're amazing. I have a whole little palette of them here. I'm just sharing my absolute favorites of the year, but yeah, totally love. This is also kind of a recent purchase, but it's life-changing, so I had to mention it. It's the Naked 2, uh, Naked Basics, wait, Na Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics. There we go. <laughs> and this is like my favorite eyeshadow palette I've ever had, I think. It is amazing. I am such a huge fan of the first one that came out, and I use it all the time because they're all mattes, and I prefer to wear all mattes on my eyes. But I like this one even more because I find this one so much more useful. Like even the darker colors I can totally wear and I'm not afraid. Like even this darkest color sometimes I'll blend it out in the crease or I will use it as eyeliner. It's just amazing. They're so blendable, so creamy. Oh, get this palette. It is amazing, I promise. And then last but not least for eyeshadows, I have the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. I got this last year for Christmas. I have used it very consistently all throughout the year. I said Earlier, I like to wear blush tones on my eyes just because I think it's fun, and this is amazing. I think this was such a nice twist on the Naked palettes. I absolutely love it. I don't even have, like, favorite colors. I just kind of dip into everything because I love it so much. And, uh, yeah, you guys have seen this before. It's no surprise, but favorite of the year. Next, I have a random favorite eyeliner. This is the Be A Bombshell liquid eyeliner in onyx and I like this because it's like a pen and I can like hold it like a pen and have very nice precision like a pen and it's just very easy for me to draw things on and I don't have a problem with the color coming out uneven it always comes out evenly it's just really easy to use with that point at the end and I just love it I know this is super random I got it in like an ipsy bag but I have totally loved it ever since I tried it and I'm gonna have to like google it and find where I can buy it when it runs out Next, I have a new mascara favorite. Thanks to Jaclyn Hill, I tried this because this was her favorite. This is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I am still a huge fan of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. That's my favorite mascara, but this is also amazing. I use this when I want like really dramatic, voluminous lashes because it's a little darker. It's a little more like vavoom than the other one is, but at the same time, it doesn't clump. It doesn't fall out too much, so it's just been really nice. I've been using this for like the last half of the year. Totally love it, and uh, yeah, I have a lot of mascara to go through, so I won't repurchase this right away, but when it runs out, I, I will keep it on the brain to repurchase it at some point. I have some bronzer favorites. The first one is a cream bronzer. This is the NARS Matte Multiple in Altai. This was a recommendation from Amerix or Allison here on YouTube, and I watched her use it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that, and it is amazing. These are expensive, which... I probably wouldn't have bought it if I didn't have a gift card and a coupon. But even though it's super expensive, I'm super happy I own it because I love the finish of a cream bronzer. But yeah, I just would kind of draw lines where I want it, buff it in with a Sigma brush, and it was just a really nice, like, creamy, natural-looking bronzer for in the summertime. And I totally loved it, and I can't wait to bust it back out again. I was obsessed with this bronzer for like the first half of the year. This is the Jouer Sunswept Mattifying Bronzer. It is so nice. It's dark enough to like actually show up on my face if I want to do a contour, but it's not too dark to make me look muddy or anything. And just Jouer powders in general are so nice. They're just really creamy, really blendable. I've loved everything I've tried from Jouer and I want to try more. But uh, yeah, this is amazing. But then I found my new favorite bronzer of all time. This is the Honey Body Shop Bronzer in, this is the very lightest shade, 01. Oh, this was amazing. You guys, this is incredible. I have used it every single day since I got it. I don't have a craving for any other bronzer. I only want to use this. I'm almost going to hit pan on it. And I will rebuy this for the rest of my life because it's the perfect shade for me. I'm very fair, but I still like to use bronzer. I have this on today, a little around here, a little around the cheekbones, and yeah. It is completely matte. It's really nice. The, I think it comes in four shades. I just bought one for my mom, so hopefully she likes it as well. And uh, yeah, I'm just obsessed. One of my number one favorites for 2014 for sure. Now we're moving into blush, which is my favorite makeup item. And I actually don't have too much, so I'm kind of proud of myself. But for the first few months of the year, I was really obsessed with the NYX um, baked blushes. I have a lot of them. I did a whole video on them, but my favorite one was Journey, which is this color right here. It's a really nice, light, peachy pink shimmery color that was good for every day. My next blush favorites are the Clinique Cheek Pops. These are the ones that look like 
little flowers which are so cute mine are kind of ruined because I have used them my absolute favorite one was ginger pop which is the first one that I got which is kind of random it looks kind of dark for me but it's so pretty on and I will say I bought these for the packaging but then I really enjoyed what was inside and I have three out of the four so here's ginger pop and then my other favorite was peach pop I believe yes right here so pretty so pigmented yet blendable and I just love it I talked about this a lot this year this is the how about them apples cheek and lip cream palette by the bomb has the best packaging in the whole world and it's really nice creamy cream blushes that are blendable easy to work with easy to apply with your finger and I like this palette because it gives you a nice range of shades but at the same time I'm very fair and I can use all these shades and it's also for your lips as well I mainly use them for my cheeks just because that's what I do but um, all the colors for me are usable and this is I think $32 and I just, I love it so much. I can't live without it. It's so cute. I can't wait for summer to come so I'm like really into wearing cream products again so I can bust this out every single day. And it comes with a really nice big mirror. There's my camera. Hey! This shouldn't surprise you. My favorite blush of 2014 are my Makeup Geek blushes. These are amazing. I don't even have like an actual favorite just in general. I'll tell you the names of these. This is Honeymoon Smitten. Bliss, Spellbound, Head Over Heels, Romance, and Summer Fling. So I love these. It doesn't matter what color. I honestly actually mix a lot of them together a lot of the days. I'm just so in love with these blushes. They're so blendable, so creamy, so pigmented, so nice, and so cheap. I think in the pan they're I think $6.99 or $7.99, somewhere around there. So cheap, better than MAC, and I absolutely love them. So now it is time for lip products, and I kind of have a little bit Kind of not a lot, but a little bit of a lot. That made no sense. <laughs> Probably because I was filming more YouTube videos and just kind of getting comfortable, but then I also wore them like in my personal life as well. So I have my cream of the crop to share because there were way too many that I loved. These are the ones that like I absolutely loved. I'll start with this because I'm wearing it right now. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Striking. These in general I love. I have a couple, maybe more than a couple, but I want to get more. I love them. They're very pigmented, very moisturizing yet matte, and I absolutely love them. So this is striking what's on my lips right now. Then I have a couple MAC lipsticks. First I have Rebel, which is a satin lipstick, and this is a really pretty kind of dark plum color, which I was afraid to wear at first, but once I tried it on, I was like, ooh, I really like this. I wore this a lot in the fall. I talked about it a lot, you guys probably remember, but it's just really pretty, and I absolutely loved it, and I'm going to be wearing it a lot more now. I also have MAC Relentlessly Red, which this is a matte lipstick, and these are really dry and hard to work with, but once you get it on your lips, this is such a cute like watermelon red color. I wore it so much this year. I absolutely loved it and I want to check out more of the MAC matte um, line. I only have this one and I absolutely love it. So yeah. This should come as no surprise. This is my favorite lipstick of the year. This is Rimmel Moisture Renew in As You Want Victoria. These lipsticks in general are all my favorites. I have so many that I love, but I just wanted to pick one or else this video would be 3,000 years long. But I did do an extended review on all the ones that I have and I love them. Oh, it's so creamy, so moisturizing. I love this like pink red color that it is. I wear it in so many videos and I wear it all the time. I absolutely love it. Favorite lipstick hands down of 2014. Another lip favorite is this Pixie Tinted Brilliance Balm that I got in a birch box and this is in the color Unique Pink. This looks like it's clear but when you put it on it turns into like this kind of pinkish color and I, I don't know if it's like different pink for everybody that puts it on one of those kind of gimmicky things but it's really pretty and I like the pink that it gives on me I don't typically like to wear pink on my lips but whatever this turns into on me I totally love and I wear it when I'm wearing like a more minimal makeup look I also loved NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee this was my my lips but better color of the year I totally loved it it was just a little bit more nude than my normal lips and I wore it all the time these I don't typically like lip gloss, but these are not too sticky. They're moisturizing. They smell good. They taste good. They're great. They're cheap. They're NYX. I love NYX. And uh, yeah. And then last for lips, I have stuck to my Honey Lip Balm throughout the year. That was a favorite last year. But I have discovered the new EOS moisturizing lip balms. I never know what these are called, but they're the new striped ones. They're supposed to be more moisturizing, and they are. First of all, I love the striped packaging so much. And I really do think that they are more moisturizing. This is the coconut one. There's also vanilla pepper mint or something like that. I haven't really tried that one yet because I've been so into this one, but I think it, I don't know if it's like just in my head, but I really do think they're more moisturizing. So yeah. 
Okay, now into skincare. First thing I have is this Michael Todd True Organics Jojoba Charcoal Facial Scrub. I've talked about this so much this year. It's really improved my skin. This is like my second or third bottle of this. Can't live without it now that's almost out. I'm gonna have to order another one. But I really love this. I really see a difference in my skin when I use it. It pulls out impurities. It just makes everything nice and smooth and great. And I totally love it. I always love Michael Todd True Organics. There's a couple things I want to replenish on um, in the new year. But uh, yeah, this is definitely one of them. Totally loved it. You guys know that because I talked about it way too much. This was hands down my favorite mask. This is the Alchemy Forever Moisture Mask. This is made from blueberries, wild pansies, oat, grapes, and vitamin E. It's an all-natural mask. I'm almost out. It doesn't harden on your face. It just is so nice and moisturizing. I use this two or three times a week because I love it so much. Um, oh, it smells like blueberries. It smells amazing. This is pricey. It is 60 bucks, but in my opinion, it's worth every penny. I absolutely love it, and I will have to repurchase it, even though it's a hefty price tag, but I totally love it. This year, I switched from the normal, simple uh, Sensitive Skin Experts moisturizer to the one that had SPF 15. This is the light moisturizer with SPF 15. At first, I thought it was not moisturizing as much, but it totally is, and I, it's very important to get your SPF on if you're going outside. And this has just a little bit SPF 15, so this mixed with my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint gave me SPF of 30 every day, which was awesome because I'm very fair. I have freckles, I have to be careful with that kind of stuff, so putting it in your moisturizer is kind of like no fuss. You don't have to really worry about putting it on as a separate thing, And but at the same time, this is very light, doesn't break me out, doesn't smell, and still moisturizes, doesn't dry me out, so totally love this. This is probably my number one favorite of 2014 beauty wise. This is the Clinical Care Skin Solutions Later Alligator Face Cream. This has saved my life so many times, especially when I'm having those moments like in my chin. My chin gets really dry. This fixes it almost instantly overnight. It's amazing, especially when I travel and I come back and I'm all flaky and breaking out. This a couple of nights, gone. I use this every single night before I go to sleep. It has kind of like a citrusy smell. It's really moisturizing. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. It's a good night cream, and I am so obsessed. The company sent me this, and I'm so happy and thankful they did because it's honestly like the best discovery of mine of 2014, and now I can't live without it. So yeah, I'll have a link to this down below. My hair favorite is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. I've been using this since January of last year consistently throughout the year. I do have like a lush shampoo bar that I kind of use in every once in a while and I also like had some samples that I tried but for the most part I used nothing but this. This is like my third bottles of the year because they're huge bottles and I never wash my hair so they last a long time. These smell so good. Get your hair really clean and moisturized but my favorite part about them is it doesn't weigh down my hair. My hair is still bouncy and shiny and looks healthy without being weighed down and I totally love these and they're from the drugstore. Like doesn't get any better than that. So definitely try these out if you haven't already. They smell so good and they're amazing. Okay guys, that is it for 2014 and that is it for my best of beauty of 2014. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going back to regular posting now so I will see you on Friday and uh, yeah, otherwise it'll be on Tuesdays and Fridays when I upload so please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you again for supporting me through Holiday Me and thank you so much for supporting me through 2014. I've had the best year here on YouTube. It's been so much fun. I've met so many nice people and you guys say such nice things to me and it just, it really, you don't know how much it means to me. So thank you so much. I'm so looking forward to 2015 and I will see you in the new year. I love you guys. I hope you have a happy and safe new year and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.